I feel like I just told my business and now he's going to know that I wasn't really pregnant lord what a thing what a Hi thing guys. so in today's video is going to be a episode two of shakira speaks so let's clarify a few things a few ground rules here on my channel please note that in these videos i'm not trying to be politically correct i'm not trying to sound like i'm the smartest person alive this is basically me talking to my husband and we going back and forth about a certain topic um it's not supposed to be anything like out of this world um also don't come on my channel and be disrespectful or shady or else i'm going to check you and don't try to do it to anybody in my comment section either um i'm very i'm like the opposite of my husband like He's politically correct, he's nice, I'm not nice, okay? I will cuss you out at the drop of a dime. This is my channel, this is my happy place, and this is where I express myself and my views. So with that being said, keep it respectful, keep it cute, or keep it on mute. So, in today's topic, I wanted to talk about, here on episode two of Shakira Speaks, about women that keep pregnancies that a man told them they do not want and what are my thoughts and opinions on that so being a young adult this was how i knew if a relationship is going to be long term or how I am going to continue in this relationship or I need to end this relationship and I'm not telling people to do this but this is something that I have done and it showed me the path the trajectory of that relationship and whether or not I was supposed to still be in that relationship or I was supposed to end things so if I'm in a long-term relationship with someone and I feel like okay this is time for us to have like a little hiccup it's time for us to like test this relationship to see what it's made for made of the first thing I would do is tell them I would like fake and tell them that I'm pregnant and I would listen to what they have to say and this is how I know where that relationship was going so if that guy said he don't want that child he's not ready for that a child then I would know where the relationship is going where he sees me how he views me and what is his reasoning behind not wanting a child right now and what do he think I should do and get his thoughts and opinions on that topic and if he says he doesn't want the child blah 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 then i take it from there or if he says he wants to keep the child i also would weigh his thoughts weigh his options weigh how he sees me and views me and where i think the relationship is going and that's how i would test my relationship that would be one of the tests that i do and i'm gonna say this that test that i did was a cause of one of my relationship falling apart and i did this test and the person actually thought i was really pregnant and his thoughts and opinions were for me to keep the child i told the person that i'm not keeping the child because i'm not financially stable he was somewhat financially stable and he was ready for a child however i wasn't and i didn't i was in school and i was not trying to have a child that early and our relationship kind of deteriorated after i told him i am not ready for a child and i don't want a child and we subsequently ended that relationship so 
I feel like if a woman wants to know where she stands or how that really out in your relationship is going, bust out that I'm pregnant and see what the man has to say. And I'm not saying him saying that he wanted a child was wrong and me saying I don't want a child is right. That's just how that relationship went. And it's up to you as a woman to weigh the pros and cons of having a child or not having a child. I'm very much pro-choice and I feel like I just told my business and now he's going to know that I wasn't really pregnant. Lord, what a thing, what a thing. But anyways, that was a very long time ago. A child is no small feat and this is where i have problems with women if a man tells you he do not want that child you should abort that child and you subsequently keep that child you should not be taking that man to court for child support for maintenance for um bills medical bills for your delivery anything like that if you knew when it was early on that you could actually abort this child safely and you would be fine and he didn't want this child and you took it up on yourself to keep that child you are dead wrong he told you from jump that he didn't want anything to do with a child it's up to you not to keep that child do not bring unwanted human beings into this world that is subsequently going to have to suffer and if i was a woman that was in that position and i was with a man and he said he don't want that child i would have aborted that child if i know it was safe for me to do so or if i'm keeping the child then i would subsequently tell that child that his parents is dead or I'll make up some other lie that I don't know who his dad is but I would not want him to be involved in my child's life in any way shape or form I made my mind up in that instant when he said he don't want to have that child that I am going to be a single parent you as a woman made that choice that he doesn't want this child you are going to end up being a single parent you should know if you're able to handle being a single parent and not have him involved the women keep these children and then after they have these children they started crying about needing help or they're taking the the man to court for child support you made your mind up that you are going to be a single parent when that person told you they did not want that child you made your mind up so you have to live with that and i'm so tired of seeing this same thing play out and i'm not saying that a man who consistently have unprotected sex consistently knocks up multiple women without a care in the world and then tell the woman to abort that child is off the hook and he should not be held accountable but it's up to us as women to protect ourselves and know what we're getting ourselves into he's no more right than you are okay you guys are on the equal playing field as a man that goes around just knocking women up and then telling them he don't want the child a man like that after your first or second time doing that you need to actually get a vasectomy you need to like you need to get reported editing shakira here so i had to hop in and say like just like how they have a rape database of rapists i feel like they need to have a database for men that willingly and knowingly get women pregnant and not one woman but multiple women multiple times a year 
and it should be possible that a woman can just simply go on their computer go on that database put their name in and say show proof that they were pregnant whether that be an ultrasound a pregnancy test a picture something as evidence and you can timestamp the date and all of that that shows that that woman was pregnant and who she was pregnant by and that person name should go in that database so other women can check that database to see if this is something that the person there with consistently does and if they do this multiple time in a year then you should have legal means and routes as to that person stopping what they're doing they should go to jail they need to get a vasectomy something those are the laws that need to be put in place and held accountable because you don't have any discipline you don't have any accountability so i feel like all these people are making laws about woman body and what a woman can and cannot do as far as bearing a child is concerned that is a law that they should put into place if you willingly and knowingly knock up more than one woman within the space of a year you need to get a vasectomy and that's just off rip okay you need to get a vasectomy because you don't know what to do with your body so therefore the law need to control you and your body um so you don't bring unwanted children into a messed up situation with all both parents so comment in the comment section below and what do you guys think about this do you think that a man should be held accountable if he tells the person he's with that he don't want that child she should abort the baby and she ends up keeping the baby do you think he should be held accountable for child support maintenance and all that stuff or do you think when a woman keeps that unwanted child everything should fall on her i know that two people lay down and made a choice to have a child but in the grand scheme of things women have a lot of power and a lot of say so so you have to decide so comment in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one deuces